buddy, John Lyman at the Rochester Hills Fire Department, Community Risk Reduction. We're here at fire station number one. I'm here with Sparky. Hi, Sparky. And uh, we're going to show you the fire truck a little bit. We're going to give you some safety tips because it's fire prevention week. Are you ready? Let's go. So good morning. Our crews are out washing trucks this morning. Sparky's even got a, a broom. It's really important that our trucks are clean. It's really important that if you can see it as it goes down the road, we take a lot of pride in clean trucks. So they're gonna keep everything nice and clean. We're wiping down the windshield, making sure that our guys can see clearly on the way to a call. All right, so Sparky's inside the ambulance right now with one of our uh, crew members and we're wiping everything down inside now. We wanna keep our patients safe. We wanna keep our firefighters safe. And they're doing a great job of wiping everything down, keeping everything clean. Sparky, you can get out of the truck now. Oh, you got your seatbelt on. You should always be wearing your seatbelts whenever your car's moving. Our firefighters are always wearing their seatbelts. Okay, here's three important safety tips for today. If you ever see a fire truck, police car, ambulance, rolling down the road, lights and siren, pull off to the side. It is so important that they get there quickly and safely. So please pull to the right when you see an emergency vehicle approaching. Have a plan. If you have a fire in your home, you wanna have a, an escape plan so you can get out quickly. Lastly, smoke alarms are so very important to your safety. You need one inside every bedroom. You need a smoke alarm in the hallway and a smoke alarm on every level of your home. If you make a plan and practice your plan, or if you're installing smoke alarms this week, take a picture of it, post it to social media, hashtag Rochester Hills Fire. We wanna see what you're doing here in Rochester Hills to keep your family safe.